Man, what's going on my party people? Anderson here, your coach, ready to help you succeed. So in this problem, this is a challenge question from one of my previous classes that I wanna go over with you. Now, I'm gonna be very honest with you, very honest. This problem can probably be done without setting up an equation, but the purpose of this problem here is to show you how to properly set up equations for regular problems, challenging problems, whatever it may be. Because if you know how to set up the equation, it really means that you truly understand the logic behind the question. I know a lot of us may look at some questions and we can succeed without actually setting up an equation. And that's cool, that's great, that's fantastic. But the thing is, by taking that intuitive approach all the time, it really doesn't allow you to hone your skills. It's kind of like, and before, and I'm rambling, I know, but just listen for a second. Because when you think about, let's say you're playing chess. I play chess a lot, I love playing chess. And before, in my past, when I was younger, I used to play really intuitively. Like I knew what the pieces did, I knew what they were named, but that was it. And then I would just get creative any way I could and I would just play the game and I got better that way. But when it, when it came to the day that I actually learned all of these moves, I learned openings and mid game and end game and things like that, that's when I truly became a lot, lot better. And so that's the idea here. You can take the approach of not using an equation for these problems, but when it comes to those more difficult, challenging questions, it may not be obvious to you what to do. And so that's the purpose of this video today, guys. So I hope you enjoy it. Remember to hit the like, uh, that like button, smash that thing, comment and subscribe for more videos. That way more people can see these videos and get more help just like you are. And so with that said, let's get started, gang. So first things first, when we're doing word problems, guys, first things first, never start by reading the entire thing. Stop that, stop that. Start with the question here. That way you can give yourself the opportunity to understand what the rule is, what the objective is, before you go ahead and look at all of the information. So watch this. So the question is not, if the group spent, no, it's not, it's this. How much does each woman get paid once the money is divided? That is the question. Remember the who, what, when, where, why, which of the following, how many of the, that, those are action questions for questions, or action words for questions, excuse me. But that's what I'm discussing there. So start with the question, and so what we're looking for is how much each woman earns. And so we can say that each woman earns, and we can say W dollars. We can say W dollars just like that. We're good. We are absolutely fine doing that. And so the next step here is going to be, hey, let's go back and let's find all this information and let's just write it on down. We're going to see all of the information we have and we're going to ask ourselves, hey, how can we use this information to figure out the earnings for each woman? That's all we care about right now. That is it. And so let's dive on in. Let's see what's up. And so here, let's start off at the beginning here. We see that we have three women and they sell hats at a craft fair weekly. Okay. So we see that we have three women. Again, I'm just writing my information down, just writing it in plain old English here. Next, the money they make at the fair is split into categories. Okay. That just gives me context. doesn't exactly tell me what to do, but it gives me context. Next. 9% goes to pay taxes. Okay, so let's write that out here. Let's use blue. We see here that 9% of the earnings go for taxes. So here we go. 9% of total is for taxes. And we can imagine that that's gonna be taken away from the total, right? If you're taxing something, that means you're taking it away from whatever you have. And so next, $55 goes to pay rent for the space they're selling in. Okay, so I'm gonna highlight that as well. $55 is to pay rent. And so let's write that out too. Boom, $55 for rent. And then it says the rest is split between the women. Okay, so I'm gonna write that out. I'm gonna just continue this right here. And we can say, you know, the three women, they split what's left, okay? So they split, they split what's left. And what do we mean by what's left? We mean after the tax, after they pay the rent, what's left over is what's gonna be split amongst the women. Okay, and then we see here, if the group makes $706 at the fair. Okay, so they're telling us what the total earnings were. And so we can highlight that as well, nice and proud here. So the group makes 706 at the fair right here whoops excuse me so 706 dollars earned and that's their total there 
And so the reason that this is a challenge problem is that typically we're used to seeing a total and including that by itself on the other side of the equation. But in this question here, we're not going to do that, actually. We're going to do it a slightly different way because we want to get the earnings of each woman, not the total earnings. So watch what we're doing here. So here's how I'm going to present this. I'm going to, again, present it in plain old English. This is how you want to start off, and then you're going to include the math. So follow along and let me know if this makes sense to you. So what we can say here is that we're going to go ahead and say, look, we're going to have their earnings. Some hues green here. We're going to take the earnings. Let me see if I have enough space right there. Perfect, I do. So we're going to take the earnings. And then after that, we're going to take away the tax. So the earnings minus what's being taxed. And then after that, if we take away the rent, let's ask ourselves, if we have the earnings, if we take away the tax and we take away the, uh, away the rent, is what's left going to be what the women are splitting? Yeah. Because again, if you have that grand total, whatever it was, and then you take away the tax for, um, you know, that they need to pay, and then you take away the rent that they need to pay for the space, boom, whatever's left is what the women earned. And once they have that, boom, divide by three, and they can split it amongst themselves and they're good. And so exactly what I said there, their earnings minus the tax minus the rent. After we have all of that, we're going to divide all of that by three. So again, do this first, because again, what this will give you, all of this, what it'll give you will be the leftover, all of this. And then you're dividing by three, because again, it's the three women. And that will equal W, that will equal what each woman earns. Does that make sense? Again, I'm gonna write that in English again. Uh, earnings for each woman. Earnings for each woman. Does that make sense there? Again, just in plain old English, in plain old English. So you have the earnings, if you take away that tax and then you take away the rent that they have to pay, Whatever's left is what they're splitting. That's exactly what the problem said. And what you'll get at the end of it is what each woman earns. And so with that, let's go ahead, let's get to it, let's calculate, let's have a good time. Because all we're gonna do now is gonna, we're gonna rewrite this, we're gonna rewrite this, but we're just gonna throw in the numbers that we have. That's it, that's it. And so let's go ahead and do it here. And again, I know you can do this without an equation, but I'm showing you how to set up an equation for your benefit for the future here. So earnings, we're gonna do starting here, 706. What are we subtracting? We're subtracting the tax. What's the tax again? 9% of the total. So we're going to take away 9% of the $706. Because again, this was the total. And so 9% of 706, what's that going to be? Well, we can start off by writing it like this. 9.0.009. Jesus. 0 0.09 multiplied by 706, just like that. And then next, what we're gonna do is again, we're gonna take away, we're gonna take away that rent right there. And so what's the rent gonna be? Well, we were told that it's 55 bucks. And so here, just subtract 55, all right. And then what we say after that? Well, we said, hey, divide everything by three. Great, we're gonna go ahead and divide everything by three. So taking black here, divide, and we're gonna divide by three. And what's that gonna give us? That's gonna give us, again, W, the earnings for each woman. Now again, you can probably, and it's very, very easily do this without an equation, but the idea here is understanding how to set equations up. Because if you know how to set equations up, it doesn't matter if you're doing solving equations word problems, percent word problems, rate word problems, whatever it may be. If you know how to set up equations, that skill translates to all of the other concepts. So that's why it's so important to know how to do this. And so with that said, let's dive on in now, let's calculate and let's see what the answer is. So first and foremost, you know, if I wanna go ahead and subtract uh, this right here, 0 0.09 times 706, I'll just go ahead and multiply 706 by 0 0.09 to see what it is. So we can go ahead and do it that way here. And so 706 multiplied by 0 0.09, let me make sure there's a zero there. So we have six multiplied by nine is going to be 54. Carry the five, there's your five right there. Seven times nine will give you 63, and there you are. And so one thing we wanna take a look at here is the two decimal places that we had to give, 
And so we'll put two decimal places back. And so this will be $63.54. That was the tax. And so with that, I'm going to erase this and just throw on in there $63.54 right there. And so what are we going to do with that information now? Again, we're just going to calculate. Notice how W is already by itself. And so all we have to do, simplify this, then subtract the 55, then divide by three, and we're done. Let's get to it, gang. Let's go. So let me just go ahead and erase this over here. Now we'll do 706 minus, minus 63, 40, uh, 51. 63.54, subtract that. And so we'll put two decimal places here just to make sure that we have everything lined up. And so what we can do here is we can say, hey, look, let's just go ahead and borrow one and turn this into 100 cents. 100 cents minus 54 cents, that will give you 46 cents. Notice how I used some mental math there and I didn't waste time and go, oh, let's turn that into a nine, turn that into a one. No, not necessary, not necessary. So we can do 100 cents minus 54 cents and just leave it at 46. Next, now we have five minus three, which is two. 70 minus six, notice how I'm not doing borrow. No, not necessary, guys. You can just say 70 minus six is 64. So now we have 642.46. So what I can do here, erase all of that and replace it with $642.46. Now I'm gonna subtract 55. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's subtract 55 here, zero, zero, cool. So we're gonna have 46 right there, nice and easy. Then we have 42 minus 55, not gonna be easy, right? So we may need to go ahead and borrow some digits here and that's all right. Or you can go ahead and use your mental math and say, hey, how do I do 642 minus 55? Well, with some mental math, again, you can do this with your long subtraction if you want to. But with mental math, I'm looking at this and I'm saying, all right, if I subtract 55, we'll get below 600, right? Because that's 42. With 42, if you take away 55, you're going below 600. It's going to be like 500 something. And so here's how I'm going to take this. 42 to 55, that's a difference of 13, right? And because you're subtracting the 55, you're going to go 13 below 600. Do the math. It, it, it adds up. Because if you go 600 minus 13, what that gives you is 587. That gives you 587. Because again, you can take away the 42 and then take away the extra 13. That's how I think about mental math. That way you're not spending too much time calculating. And so there we are. Boom. We did the math there. And so we have... 587.46. And from here, now we're going to go ahead and divide and we are done. So three divided into 587.46. Now we're going to do our thing. Have a good time. Let's go. So here we're going to see that three goes into five one time. Boom. Bring the eight down. That's going to be nine. Take away the 27, you got one left over, bring the seven, 17, three into 17 is five times. Boom, we have 195. Is there any answer here that, okay, boom, right there. No more work needed to be done. Notice how, even the moment that we had the one there, we were good. The moment that we had the one here, we were good because it was 100 something. And notice how the only answer choice, only answer choice that wasn't even in the hundred, the one hundreds was B. Boom, right there, you can save your time. But if we finish the problem off, I want to show you that we can still do this the right way here if we needed to. Boom. And so that we bring the four down and that's going to be boom. That's going to be eight. That's going to wipe out to zero. Bring the six down. Three into six is two times. 195, 82. Confirm the answer. But again, gang, the point of this video was not to show you math and mental math. You know, I'm glad that we were able to go over it. But the idea here, the pure idea is to show you how to set up equations, even with a question that's a little unorthodox. Because I know typically we're used to seeing questions where it's like, oh, we're gonna do like, you know, five times X plus six equals the total. Eh, like that's not every single problem you're gonna see. And notice how this problem included percents as well. And so at the end of the day, my party people, what it's always been about is having the confidence and knowing that you can get any problem right in any skill that you want. And so keep talking about it, keep reasoning with it, talk about it in English, and then turn it into math. That's how we can ultimately be successful. 
So again, if you enjoyed this video, again, smash that like button, comment what your thoughts were, see if you got it right before I did it for you, and then subscribe to the channel, that way you can see more. Also, if you're interested in joining the classes that are gonna be featuring problems like this, where I help you out and help you raise your score, then go ahead and check out the description of the video, that way you can join the group tutoring pass. Long story short, you can get 20 hours a week of class, or 20 hours a month on classes, plus every single recording, past and future, for just, guess what? A really, really low price. Go ahead, check it out. You'll believe it when you see it. So I'm Anderson, your coach. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you in the next one. And just keep kicking butt, honestly. I'm excited for you.